Hey there everybody, it's Jessica and Peanut here from Jessica Smith TV and we're so excited to be starting our Healthy for the Holidays Challenge with my fitness pal and you. Thanks so much for showing up and being here with us today. So let's walk while we're talking. We're gonna get our warm up started right off the bat. So the idea behind these workouts is they're 15 minutes or less, they're short and sweet. And our concept here is something is always better than nothing. Give me a little arm circle as we can keep talking about this concept here. So good news if you get going and you think, hey, I feel great, I've got a little more time to spare, you can keep going with other workouts, reverse it back to front. But at the very least, you know you got something done today. Something is always better than nothing and those little things do really add up to make a big difference, especially during the busy holiday season. So let's keep our posture tall. Just give me a side to side step tap. So remember with these workouts, it's all about doing the best you can with what you have. I'll show you options. Just make sure you're listening to your body throughout and making it work for you. Sit back a little deeper into your thighs. Let's start to pump the arms a little bit more. We wanna get that heart pumping right off the bat. Just pump back and forth, driving your elbows here. Nice. Sit back low. You got it. Last four. Three, two, come on up to a hamstring curl. Squeeze your heel in towards your body. Keep pulling those elbows back behind you. Good, so we're starting to wake up a little bit more. Starting to get going here. We're gonna keep it short and sweet, so I need you to dig deep for me when it's time to really pump up that heart rate, okay? Good, now from here, just give me a side to side toe tap. Let your arms swing. Point through the toes, wake up the calves, work through those ankles a little bit more. Good, real big arms now. Just let them swing, open up the shoulders. Nice, last four. Three, two, keep your feet wide. Let's sit back into a little squat and stand. Now if you have any issues, feel free to keep this real shallow. Work on engaging the thighs to keep the pressure out of the knee joint. Sit back in your hold, just a little pulse. Yeah, good, keep squeezing. Sit back into an imaginary chair behind you. Nice, now from here, we're just gonna come up, turn to the side, pick up your back heel, sit down into it, little lunge position you can hold or start to pump. Now as we pulse that lunge, I want you to give me that same pump with the arms. So drive in the elbows, keep your shoulders over your hips, keep your front knee lined up over that ankle. You can go deeper if you feel ready for it. Nice, last four, three, two, hold, come back to center. Turn your knees and toes, pick them up, especially if you're on carpet. One more time, pump squat pulses. Sit back, relax your chin to your chest. Nice. Four, three, two, take a second to come up and transition. Turning the knees and toes, drop that back knee under. You can hold here with the legs or pulse, adding that drive with the elbows. So we should feel the heart rate up now. We should be feeling nice and warm, yes? Good. So we're gonna get right down into it. Four more counts, it's four. Three, two, and one. Let's walk and hold it, nice, okay. So come on up, shake out those legs a little bit. We're gonna start off with some jack variations. So everybody knows what a jumping jack looks like. Great cardio move. We're gonna play with it a little bit today for our intervals. If you can't jump, don't worry, I'll show you ways to modify. So I want you to start off with a side to side squat step. Looks like this, it comes down, out, down, up. So I'm just stepping my feet. Again, mind your knees, really sit back in your hips. Just go as low as you can go. Arms, open, close up. Give me a little clap overhead. Yeah, so if you need to stay low impact, this is your option here. 
if you can, give me a little jumping squat jack and clap. Sit back, keep it light. Now, if you wanna rev faster to make it harder, you can, but keep your range of motion nice and big. Good, that's it. Couple more. Four more counts. Four, three, two, hold and walk. Good. So, we should need to catch our breath a little bit. Deep breaths. Remember, if you need more recovery in between our intervals, take it. That's what that pause button is for. You can always hit pause, grab some water, come back when you're ready. But if you are ready, give me that side to side step. Turn it into a little cross behind. Little skate. Let your arms just do whatever they want. Get low, get wide. Nice, skate it out. Good, so our heart rate is elevated. Breathing is up, you can hear my voice. That's where we wanna be. So hanging here if you need to stay low impact, but getting wide or getting lower, or give me a little leap, a little push off with those inner and outer thighs. Really skate it, side to side, nice and big. Good, come on, keep pushing. It's only 15 minutes, you can do this. Four, three, two, one, amazing, walk and hold it. Our next little peak comes from another jumping jack variation. So this time we're gonna focus on more forward and back with the legs in a little scissor action. I'm just gonna to turn to the side so you can see it better. Your legs do a little toe tap back, arms reach and pull. Low impact, you're gonna hang here, but make this real full of energy. If you can, a little scissor, reach and pull. Again, stay quiet, stay light on the feet. Use the muscle, not the joint, to absorb that jack. Good. You just go as fast as you can. Don't worry about keeping the beat of the music. You move to the beat of your own drum, right? Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, real strong. Three, two, amazing. Let's walk and recover. How you doing? Good. Breathe, hang on. A little movement just to work the shins now. Heel digs to the front, flex your hands, push out and in. Good, little recovery step. Balancing out the work through the calves by flexing those toes. Waking up those shins again. Deep breaths. Amazing. Doing great, guys. Okay. So this next one is a fun little coordination exercise, but we're still gonna get that heart pumping. Another jack variation for you. Just start off with your feet. Tap it out. So low impact or to build, you start here. Arms are gonna clap right in front of your chest. So stay low, make it wide, or you jack here. Good. Stay light on the feet, tap it. If you're staying low impact, just make that range of motion real big, real quick. I love clapping, it always makes exercise feel a little more fun, doesn't it? Keep it strong. Come on guys, uh-oh, Peanut left us. Too many jumping jacks for her. Last four, three, two, one, walk, recover it, you're doing great. Come back a little bit. We're gonna take a little zigzag tap, watch me first. Travel forward, travel back. We're just recovering. All that is is a side-to-side -side step tap, moving on a diagonal, forward and back. 
do it again. Breathe. You're doing great. Take it back. One more time forward. One more time back. Nice. Walk and hold it. Good. Okay, so turning on the brain a little more. We're just gonna build into a basic V step. Starting with this foot first, watch it if you need to. It's V, out, out, in, in. Try it when you can. So that's where we start. Footwork is the same. If you can, lower down into a little squat on that V. Yeah, I know it's fast. Do what you can. Low impact, you're gonna hang right here. If you can, you're gonna give me a little hopscotch forward, back. Land in the V, come back together. Again, keep it quiet. Land light like a cat. So don't slam into the floor. Soft landing, toe ball heel. Last four, three, two, hold for a second. March with this foot first. Breathe. We're gonna build that on the other side in just a minute. Stand tall, make sure you're not starting to slouch. Keep the breath flowing. V-step basic. Out, out, in, in. Good. Take more time here if you need to, or come down when you're ready. Good. Again, stay here if you want to, or need to. Make it big, or hopscotch. Forward, back. Land light. Good. You got it. Last four, come on. Four, three, two, last one. Walk it here. Woo. You good? Remember, heavy breathing is good on those intervals. Take a moment to catch your breath though. Move over a little bit. Give me two side steps. Still breathing. Good. You're doing so great, guys. All right. So, this builds into our next round. You're still moving side to side like this. Low impact stays here. You're just gonna take a traditional jumping jack arm. Yeah, but make it big. If you have more room than I do, travel it big. So if you're ready to amplify and you can jump, you're gonna jack side to side. One, two, switch direction. So good for building agility and coordination. Two to the side, two back. Keep those arms strong. Good. Come on, deep breaths. Four, three, two. Last set, down and back. Walk and breathe. You good? Great, stay with me. Recover that breath. You're doing so awesome. Turn on a little diagonal for me. Keep breathing. You're just gonna step forward and back. Back foot steps forward first. Forward and back. Easy. Now we're gonna pump it up. Do what I call single leg running. One of my favorite cardio moves. So you're gonna sit back in your hips. You're gonna balance on this front leg. We're gonna drive this knee up to our chest. And really pump the arms. Looks like this, join me as soon as you can. I'm gonna pump. If you can add a little impact, you can give me a little hop into that knee. Otherwise, drive it strong right here. Pump it up. Remember, these are our intervals. We're working hard, but for a short period of time. So pump it up, but listen to your body. If it gets to be a little too intense, 
breathe faster. Come back to recovery when you need to. We'll meet you there. It's four, three, two, hold, walk it. Come back up, recover your posture, recover your breath. Turning it the other way so we can slowly build it to the other side. This foot steps forward and back. So now that you know what to expect, you know how to build into it, how to make it work for you, right? So when you're ready, we're gonna drop down, get that knee pumping in four, three, two, ready, here we go. Down, pull, hop it if you want, or stay low, but make it strong. Again, landing softly if you're adding that hop. Stay light on that standing leg for me. You look so good, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Come up, walk. You good? Great. Keep on breathing. Stay with me strong. All right, so we have another jumping jack flash coming at you. Traveling forward and back. Just start with that alternating toe tap. Out, out. Arms, this time, are gonna reach and pull forward. I want you to tap it forward, tap it back. Tap forward, tap back. If you're ready, jack it forward, jack back. Forward four, back for four. Forward, back. Two more sets, come on, make it strong. Four, back. Last time, forward. Breathe, walk, hold it. Great work, everybody. Give me a step kick, side to side. Shaking it out, breathing. You did so great. All right, so this is our big finish. Our last big push. And it comes from the move you did in the warm up. Remember that squat pulse, those lunge pulses with the arms? I'm gonna try that again with modifications or advanced level modifications. Walk your feet at least hip width apart, maybe a little wider. You're gonna sit back into that squat position wherever you can go. Hips go back, pump it here. You could lift your heels for a little more or a little decelerating squat jump. Keep it quiet, keep it soft, think down, down. So it's not one of those squat jumps where you're trying to dunk the basket. I want you to think down and light. Yes. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Side steps. Breathe. Great job. Turning into our lunge position. I'll show you how to make it work. So make sure you've caught your breath before you move on. Turning into that side lunge. Back knee under the hip, front knee pump. Now you can stay here and really work your arms. Feels funky, I know. Or pump it, or hop it light, low. So again, here, here, or here. Make it work. Drive your elbows. The lower you can get in the legs, the more you work those arms, the higher that heart rate. Even if you just hold it statically, protecting the knees, drive it back. Last four, three, two, side steps. 
Shake out those legs. I know you're feeling those thighs. I am too. Almost there, guys. Getting ready to set it up to the other side. Lunge position. Hold it here or here or with your leap. Keep it soft. Good. Come on, work those arms. Make it work. Even if you're here or maybe you're here, go faster. Keep breathing. Good, watch that front knee. Keep it right over your ankle. Last four, three, two, side steps. Oh, great job, everybody. Let's take a few seconds. Calm the heart rate, catch your breath. You did so great. So just breathing, just move those arms nice and easy. So I told you it was gonna be short and sweet. You don't have to work out for a long time to make it an effective workout, right? So I wanna leave you with a couple thoughts as we keep cooling down. Just walk, deep breaths. Remember that motto, something is always better than nothing. If you have more energy and you think you could squeeze a little bit more in, you can keep moving. We've got tons more workouts here on our YouTube channel you can keep going with or be done for the day. Know that you got some activity in. Give yourself a big pat on the back and try your best to stay active for the rest of your day today, even if it just means taking a few extra trips to the bathroom or to your colleague's desk at work. Add in some extra steps to keep your metabolism revved for the rest of the day. Let's just steady the feet. Take a deep breath in, inhale, open your chest. Deep breaths, exhale around, good. And don't forget your healthy tip of the day today for this challenge is to start your day off with a healthy, hearty breakfast. I want you to check out my blog on my fitness pal for today's tip. I've got more details there, some recipes that you might wanna try to really help you fend off those holiday treats throughout the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for working up a sweat with me. I had a blast with you for this 15 minute indoor cardio, no equipment workout. Please keep up the great work you're doing and I'll see you for day two of our Healthy for the Holidays Challenge tomorrow. Take care everybody.